What is the Imagine Cup? Imagine Cup? Get it? No, but seriously. The Imagine Cup is a global student competition run by Microsoft. It's about solving problems, big problems. Well, maybe not that big, but really important stuff. Like ending extreme hunger. And poverty. Getting everybody a decent education. Looking after the environment and so on. These problems are so important that every single person in the United Nations signed up to fix them. Through the Millennium Development Goals. And we believe that technology can be part of the solution. So, if you have ideas of how to make the world a better place, then you can enter one of the Imagine Cup competitions. You can create digital media, film, or music, design a computer game, build a phone app, or a software solution, you'll get the chance to build great things for some of the UK's leading charities. But if you have something else that you're passionate about, that's fine too. If you want to take part in the UK, then stay tuned and we'll explain how. But first, relive the magic of last year's World Final. Welcome to the Imagine Cup 2010 here in Poland. Poland! It allows students from around the globe to channel their energy, their skills, their talent. The Imagine Cup is the world's premier technology competition. It brings together students from around the world. I want to welcome all of you to the worldwide finals of the Imagine Cup. The magnitude of this event is absolutely huge. You have to remember that we're starting with more than 325,000 students around the world. And what that means is that almost every single country is having its own national event just to determine who are the best of the best that then get the chance to compete at the worldwide finals. We absolutely believe that these students are going to change the world moving forward. Most importantly, each one of them has stepped up to the challenge and thought about taking action. And so their perseverance, their innovation, their creativity, their ability to tap into the social networks around the world to really light up their solutions, that's what's going to drive change. What the judges saw was truly extraordinary. The overall theme for the Imagine Cup is to imagine a world where technology solves some of the world's toughest problems. The overall inspiration was the United Nations Millennium Development Goals. We've got four major competitions that take place every single year. Software design, embedded development, game design, and digital media. And each year we have a special focus on a wide range of extra technologies. We have always felt like, a, let's say, a big family. Imagine Cup family. It's amazing, we're in the final! Yeah! We're in the final! I'm inspired by all of you that have dedicated your time, your energy, your passion to make this world a better place. It's about thinking about how do we harness the creativity and the innovation of this next generation of innovators. It's about coming together to solve some of the world's hardest problems with technology. That's good for all of us. We like it here a lot because we can feel the impact from different cultures. We're very excited that the Imagine Cup 2011 is going to be in the United States in New York City, and it is going to be great. To get to New York in 2011, all you need to do is form a team of up to four mates or people you study with and think about solving a problem. Put those thoughts down on paper. Well, actually, in a Word document and send them through to us by the 10th of December. We'll then look at your entries and decide who goes on to the next round in the UK. Until one team from software design and one team from embedded design make it through to the worldwide finals in New York City. If designing software or embedded solutions isn't your thing, you can still get to New York by jumping into the global website and take part in the game's design, digital media and Windows Phone competitions. Create software. Change the world. Enter the Imagine Cup.